Hello, this is Andy Ford from Andy Ford Video, and we're going to take a quick look at the time and the value expression today. First, we're going to look at the time expression. Here is a windmill graphic from Envato Elements. I've separated the blades from the rest of the windmill in Photoshop, filled in behind the blades, so we have two separate layers. Now, the time expression is going to return the composition's current time in seconds. So we're going to use this value to add movement to a still image. First thing we're going to do is just zoom in and make sure our anchor point is right in the middle of these blades. If it's not, these blades are going to spin with a little bit of a wobble. Next thing we're going to do is add an expression for rotation because we want to make the blades rotate. So we alt click or option click on the Mac, the stopwatch for rotation. And the time expression is extremely easy. It's just the word time. As I play this, you'll see it moves very slowly. By default, time rotates one degree every second. But we can speed this up using math. So for example, we can multiply by 10. Just add asterisk 10 and play that back. Now it is rotating 10 times faster. We can make it even faster by multiplying by a larger number. And so this is a quick way to change the rotation of your blades without having to worry about keyframes if you need to make any changes. Let's put the rotation back to 10. And now let's say that we want to make the blade speed up for a small period of time, but otherwise keep this consistent rotation. You see this a lot in advertising, right? Something spins slowly and then all of a sudden does a quick spin. So we can add a keyframe for the period of time that we want this change to happen. So let's say we go to 10 frames and put a keyframe for rotation. Then we move down five frames, change rotation 180 degrees. So now we have a quick period of time, five frames, where we have a large amount of rotation over what was traditionally happening. But if we play this back, we notice nothing happens. And that's because our keyframe values are being ignored in favor of the expression. So we need to add more to our expression to take into account the keyframes we just made. And that expression is the word value. So if we append or add value to this expression, plus value, now we will still rotate at our time times 10, but when we hit keyframes, value will take into account the value of those keyframes. So our expression will be augmented by the value of these keyframes. When there aren't keyframes, there will be nothing to add. It will just be our normal time times 10 expression. So as you can see, we have the regular movement of our blades, and then we speed up when we hit the keyframes. So time plus value allows you to automate movement and also take into account any keyframes you want to add to enhance or augment that movement. Thank you.